Hey guys, good people of the internet. Today is the seventh day of July, but of not of not of 1777. No, it's the seventh day of July of 2018. But what better song, man? Remember, I okay. Before I say that, remember last time we did a King Diamond song, you said to me, "Man, this guy has songs for every single yeah. time of the year." Another example is, the, you know, July 7th, the 7th day of July, 1777. You know, is there a better, is there a better example that King Diamond has a song for every single, every single time of the year? Like, if you think of some time of oh, the it's year. Halloween time, boom. Oh, Halloween. it's Christmas time, boom. boom. Is the 7th of July, boom, boom. You know, you know somebody named Abigail, boom, boom. there's Abigail too. You know, you want to put somebody to sleep, Spider's Lullaby, boom. Like, this guy has songs for, like, every single occasion. Now, I would not necessarily recommend you putting a baby to sleep listening to Spider's Lullaby, but, but you know, teach his own. I, I personally, I enjoy that song. I enjoy that album, actually. It's a good album. But anyways, we're here to do the 7th day of July of 1777. This song is from my favorite King Diamond album of all time. Abigail is my favorite King Diamond album of all time. I absolutely love this album. When I was your age, I would listen to this album on repeat constantly because I just, it, 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 as, as King Diamond albums are, there. this album is a concept album. So from song one to the last song of the album, it's a part of, the, of a story. It's telling a story. So you're only getting one piece of the story. For you to get the full essence of this album and every from album from King Diamond pretty much, you have to listen from the first to the last. So what about the Christmas one? Is that from an album? Or no, I don't think that's from a... It's from, I think it's from a B-side. Like, he had, like, a B-side CD, like, with, like, B-tracks and whatever. Oh. So, I think it's from one of those. I was going to say, how do you go from, like, how, how do you go from, no like... presents for Christmas. You didn't behave yourself. You didn't get any presents for Christmas. But anyways, before we forget, today is Bruno's birthday. He's one of our long-time viewers from Portugal. Long, long-time viewers. Almost from the beginning of the channel. Today is his birthday, so I want to wish you a happy birthday. And what better song to celebrate his birthday than... What the does? 7th day of July of 1777 on the 7th day of July of 2018. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, let's do this.
So, what did you think of that King Diamond song? I think this is one of the the better ones we've we've done. I mean, Halloween is. I really like Halloween. I mean, I really like the Christmas one and Halloween. Yeah, but I, this album, there's no bad songs in this album. Really, there's no bad songs on this record. Uh, so, what did you think of that? <laughs> seventh day of. Was it the seventh? I can't, no, I can't even remember. It's the, the seventh, seventh day, day of July of seventeen seventy-seven. I mean, it's right there. Okay. Yes. I, I just had a brain fart. A brain fart. It was stinky. <laughs> so, what did you think of uh, of this song from King Diamond? It, it was. I mean, we've listened to now how many King Diamond songs? I think. Well, we did one Merciful Fate and we did two King Diamonds, so this is the fourth. If you. This is the fourth. If you really count the Merciful Fate. One. I mean. King Diamond will always be good. He's, uh, these songs, even though these songs to me, just for me personally, it reminds me of when I was a teenager, because that's when I was listening to this stuff. That's when these albums came out. Uh, but now listening to this song now, it still holds to today. Like it, it's not, it, it doesn't feel stuck in a time zone that's from that time period. Like if, if something like that came out now, it's still, it's still good. Yeah. No, those two solos are absolutely incredible. And and King Diamond's like in his music, the solos are always like very like over the top kind of like solos. And I really like that they were very melodic. And the song is like I said, this song is a piece of that story. You know. Like, yeah. He says, you know, he pushed her down the stairs and she died. No, she cried. I I I, I love the way he tells the story because he uses his voice to, to be the different characters yeah. in the story do you know what i mean and then this album like every album he does that really well like he uses his voice and and it's like he's he's the different different the like different people are talking to each other and whatever and he's the different people right like i i always king diamond i've been a huge fan of king diamond forever like it's on my bucket list of concerts to go see it's either merciful fate or king diamond if 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 he ever goes on tour and he comes to toronto like i, I would sell a testicle to go to buy a ticket and go see it. Hopefully, I wouldn't have to do that. Yeah. But, oh my gosh. But since I already have you, you know, I can afford to give one up. I mean, it's not like it's not like I. That's why God gave us two. One is a spare, so you give one up. But you enjoyed that, right? Yeah. Now you, we talked about this, and you said that one day when you have kids, uh, if you have a boy and a girl, you're gonna name them Jenny and Craig, right? I didn't really mean that. <laughs> But I was just going to throw out there, like, instead of doing that, why don't you, if it's a girl, name her Abigail, and if it's a boy, name him Jonathan. Because in this in this album, Abigail and Jonathan, they're like, they're a couple, you know, they're like lovers. So, well, that was kind of weird, they're lovers, and if you have yeah, kids, like, yeah, yeah there's, maybe, maybe don't go with Abigail and Jonathan, maybe just Abigail and then something else. Jenny Craig. <laughs> Jenny Craig, I think it's a horrible idea, by the way. That'd be the best like, idea. your kids will hate you for the rest of your life. Once they find Jenny Craig, come here! <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know? <laughs> that would be the funniest thing. Uh, now, things could turn out differently, because you could name them Jenny and Craig, and it could turn out to be really fat. And then it's like, dude, no, the joke to, is on you. Then no, the joke is on you. On then, Craig. If there is still a Jenny Craig, but, you know, we don't know that. Maybe Doctor Poon or whatever. Doctor Poon is also a guy who does diet. Yeah, I know. Okay, just I don't know. If you can. All right, guys, this is it for today. King Diamond, the seventh day of July of seventeen seventy-seven. Once again, happy birthday to Bruno. I hope he's having a wonderful day in Portugal, doing whatever it is that he normally does on his birthdays. Hopefully, he's getting some action. Um, but you know, we don't want to know. Maybe, yeah. yeah, we just hope, but we don't want to know. Pictures are not needed because that would be kind of disturbing. <laughs> wow, this channel is quickly migrating into Pornhub. Quickly, I mean, like, I'm telling you, like, people already think that I'm molesting you off camera. So, yeah, okay. this conversation with Jenny Craig and Jonathan Abigail, this, this thing is not helping the cause. Anyways, guys, come back tomorrow before we get age-restricted permanently on every single video. <laughs> so, see you guys. See ya.